see it, but what's happening now is the soy milk liquid, the mixture, is wicking along the fiber because there's nothing to prevent it, mm -hmm. okay? And so what happens though is the water wicks ahead of the soy and you can't see that. And so as you work along, and you see it slumping now as I go because it's relaxing, as you do that, you wind up with this band of water ahead of the water-soy mixture and that's already occupying your cloth. So when you actually put the next layer of soy on top of it, it's not going to do you any good. So later what will happen is when your cloth dries, you will have bands where there is no soy milk because the water occupied that spot. Okay. Okay? And you can't see that. The only time at which that becomes apparent is when you're all through and washing your fabric in the final stage and streaks appear. And that's why. Okay. So in doing this, what I did was I went here, mm -hmm. I went out a small area, yes. then I came back and I doubled back to the previous area and went here, came forward, doubled back one, okay, and that's okay. the easiest way not to get streaking. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to come here now that it's slumped, and now that the paste has relaxed, I can go ahead and tighten it more. And it won't crack. It won't crack. Okay. And then, not too much because it really hasn't sat very long. Yeah. But later, I can keep doing this. The next go-around, when I put dye on it, and mm -hmm. it saturates.